So is Germany ready for a new Hitler? This is a world, this is a world premiere. This is a world. Hey y'all, welcome back for some more food for thought. So we are continuing with review week. So before we jump in, I'm gonna get down in the comments section and share something from uh, one of my favorite regular viewers, Bruce Webb. So Bruce is commenting on my review of Afghanistan, The Great Game. Guys, ask yourself where capitalism was born and primarily developed. That's right, first Britain, then Western Europe, then North America. So of course you had the British Empire run things until they couldn't anymore. Think World War I, World War II. Then the US Empire picks up the baton as the sole industrial survivor post-World War II, after Europe bombed themselves back into the Stone Age. Those world wars were all about capitalist countries fighting for control. So thanks Bruce for those insights. You guys can let me know what you think. You can go and read back for some more of Bruce's comment. It was a little bit longer than that, but I thought that was enough for you guys to get an idea where Bruce was coming from. So you guys, I'm a little nervous about this escalating tension between the US and North Korea. There's been some pretty incendiary language being used on on both sides, but I'm gonna tell you why I'm a little bit uncomfortable about the language coming out of the White House. Now let's just say that North Korea decides that they're going to take some aggressive action towards the US, it's not gonna be Donald Trump who feels the brunt of that. It's not gonna be folks who are living in the continental United States who are gonna feel the brunt of that. It's gonna be folks living in Guam, it's gonna be people living in Japan, it's gonna be um, obviously the folks who are in South Korea who are gonna feel that. To me, it's a little bit like being on the phone with someone who has taken a classroom full of kids hostage and then antagonizing them. You know you're safe, you're just on the phone talking, right? But the kids in that room are in real danger. And I think that's a little bit more of the attitude that Donald Trump and his administration and the US in general need to take. Again, I don't know what you think. So er ist wieder da, or look who's back, is the American title of this 2015 German film about the return of Adolf Hitler to a modern Germany. So the film is by German filmmaker David Wunent based on the best-selling novel by Timur Vermes. So the film imagines Adolf Hitler as he was at the time of his death being basically dropped into a modern Germany. What might he think of the Germany that exists today and what might modern Germans think of him? So the film features vignettes with actor Oliver Masuki who plays Adolf Hitler interacting with just kind of regular folks on the street. I believe they are unscripted. These are interspersed with scripted storyline sequences. So I expected the film to be a comedy and wasn't let down. There are plenty of comical moments. Some of them are pretty whimsical and some of them are a little bit jarring and disturbing. What I wasn't prepared for was the dark turn that the film took and a lot of that darkness was carried in those on the street interviews with just regular people and this person who just happened to be dressed up as Adolf Hitler and who happened to be spewing a lot of Hitler's hateful rhetoric. I'm gonna avoid spoilers by not getting into too much detail. Now, Germany's politics have been solidly liberal since the reunification of Germany in the 1990s. But in 2014, when the film was being made, we were beginning to see in Germany a rise in populist thinking. In fact, in 2014, one of Germany's very right-wing parties, Alternatives for Deutschland, received 16% of the national vote. Now, some say this was due to the fact that the chancellor, Angela Mercer, invited a lot of Muslim immigrants into the country and was part of helping to get some other countries like Greece back on their feet. Now, popularity of Alternatives for Deutschland has dwindled in the past few years, but it's not to say that they couldn't see another surge in popularity, especially after the election of Donald Trump here in the 
the US. So some vegans might get a kick out of this film when they introduced like vegan Nazis, which is pretty hilarious until you think of the fact that we have our own Nazi vegans who are part of the YouTube vegan community. Anyway, I highly recommend the film Air East Vida Da or Look Who's Back. I found it on Netflix, but you may be able to find it on Amazon or through some other channels. And be sure to come back and let me know what you think in the comments section below. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself.